Well, good morning, and welcome once again to the Morning Meditation with God radio ministry, brought to you each morning at the same time by the generous and loving Midwest Church of Christ. The Midwest Church of Christ is located at 2115 Garland Avenue here in Louisville, Kentucky, and we like to extend to you and to your entire family um, to come and be with us in any and all of the services of the Midwest Church of Christ. Again, located at 2115 Garland Avenue here in Louisville, Kentucky. Our order of services include it's Sunday morning at 8.30 a.m., is our first service of the day. Then at 9.30, we have our Sunday Bible School, and at 10.30, we have our second worship of the day. On Wednesdays, we have our midweek Bible study, prayer, and devotional services. Our first session is at 10 a.m. in the morning, and our evening session is at 6.50. That's 10 minutes before 7. If you would like to study the Bible in the comforts of your own home, we have two ways that you can do that. One is the Bible Correspondence Course that you can take by mail. The second is the personal home study where someone will come and sit down, study the Word of God, right in the comforts of your own home. Either way, you give us a call at 774-3986 and uh, we'll register you today. In other announcements, the CLIP ministry, the CLIP Christian Life and Improvement Plan ministry is going to be postponed this uh, uh, Saturday. I want uh, uh, due to the funeral services of uh, Brother Steve Porter, um, we um, we thought it prudent to, for most of us, will be there at the funeral uh, of Brother Steve Porter. And I'll talk to you about the uh, particulars uh, shortly. The Resurrection Sunrise Breakfast and Prayer Service is sun, this coming Sunday, the April the 21st, starting at 8.30 a.m. We want you, we want you to make sure um, that uh, you come out and be with us this Sunday. Come and be with us and fellowship with us as we study the resurrection, uh, as we look at what does the resurrection mean? And what should it all mean to all of us uh, who believes and calls on the name of the Lord our God? So you come and be with us. Uh, this coming Sunday, 8.30 uh, breakfast, 9.30 uh, the uh, resurrection uh, Bible study, and at 10.30 have our um, uh, worship and praise to the Lord. The 2020 National Jail and Prison Workshop will be hosted by Midwest uh, Church of Christ in June of 2020. Uh, uh, that is a special uh, time for, for us because that of, we'll be celebrating our 100th year as, the, as a congregation of God's great people here in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. So we're looking forward to you um, being with us. And, um, and so we, we urge you, we urge you to come and uh, be with us. Praise God. Um, this, uh, this Monday, the 20th, uh, the, uh, I'm sorry, the 22nd, there will be a planning session uh, at 6 p.m., this will require a full court action of all members. 
We hope that you will uh, make plans to to be be there with us. Praise be unto God. Also, we are taking applications for our Village Learning and Development Centers after school ministry and uh, our summer day camp. Uh, we want all of you that have been uh, uh, coming to our day camp in the, in the summer, make sure that you uh, come and uh, um, to the uh, and register your children. Praise be unto God. We want to also remind you that on Thursdays at 5 p.m. is the Kids Cafe. And uh, we hope that you will consider coming and working with us as we help the, and work with the, uh, the children in the neighborhood, offering them a healthy meal and uh, activities um, that they can uh, exercise uh, there and, and learn things that's good for them. Praise be unto God. The Food and Clothing Ministry meets on the second and fourth Thursdays. So keep that in, in mind uh, and uh, make sure that you are, um, uh, if you're in need, uh, please come and uh, be with us. Let us serve you in the name of our Lord and Savior. Praise be unto God. In area-wide news, the Nicholasville Church of Christ, Ladies' Day is Saturday, uh, April the 27th, starting at 9.30 a.m. The theme is Fearfully and Wonderfully Made. And their speaker, their speaker is, uh, amen, their speaker is um, uh, Sister Becky Kelly of Madison, Alabama. The North Central Church of Christ here in the city uh, is having a special uh, uh, derby event. Uh, uh, on Derby Day, the 4th, they will be having a, a fashion show. I know I don't need to be, a, there's no need for me to be uh, in the, try to be into that. But, uh, amen, we want you to um, uh, make sure that you go uh, to that. And then uh, on, set, month, on Sunday, May the 5th, there'll be a preaching derby. Uh, all of the local preachers will preach seven minutes. You know, I know you say we can't do it. Just come out and see. Praise be unto God. The 36th and Garland Church of Christ is having their Ladies' Day Saturday, uh, May the 11th at 8.30 p.m. Their theme is Becoming the Woman God Can Use. And the speaker is Sister Rita McCollum uh, from the Newburgh Church and um, Kendra uh, Ray. Uh, there um, at uh, the a teenager there at 36 in Garland. May God be with you, and and we know that you'll be blessed uh, by attending. Now we want to remember, want to remember our sick and shut-in. Want to remember uh, Brother Tony Burton. He shared with me that he's doing better. And we are thankful to God uh, for that. And, and let's uh, keep our hearts uh, anchored uh, for our brother. Pray for Brother Bob Coleman. Uh, continue to pray for him, that God will continue to, to, to heal him. Brother Freddie Holland and uh, Brother Angelo Pendergrass. Pray also for uh, Sister Jacqueline Hallman, Sister Clarice Floyd Johnson. Sister Emma Johnson, Sister Savannah Johnson, uh, Sister Ethel Rivers, uh, and uh, Sister Don Marie Sizemore. Also pray for our shut-ins, Sister Mamie Cartwright, uh, 
Sister Louise Covington, Sister Sarah Cowan, Sister uh, Mary Hunter, Sister Pearl Smith, Sister Vivian Wakefield, and uh, Sister Mary Wood. Thank you. Uh, please pray for them, as well as Brother James Frazier. We want you to uh, remember those who are going through dialysis and radiation and uh, chemotherapy and uh, various eye and hand uh, treatments uh, and feet treatments. Keep keep these in in prayer. We want to pray for our our dear friend, uh, uh, dear friend, Sister Jesse Bennett, Sister Angela Walsgill, Sister Se Sheila Heiner, Sister Sammy Sandy Hammond Schuler there in Evansville, and Sister Rita Kamishi, Sister Paula Thomas. Uh, Sister Dolores, uh, and Sister Sarah, the daughter of uh, Brother Clark and Sister Ellen Stannard. Uh, we pray for them, pray for them, that God will watch over them. And for Brothers Jasper Crenshaw, Brother Richard Rose, Brother Gary King, Brother Frederick Himes, Brother Marvin Stevenson Jr., my oldest brother, and we are thankful to God uh, for your prayers. Amen. We want to want to give thanks to those who supported the radio ministry this week. We want to say thank you to Sister Linda Bird, uh, bro Brother Earl Fleetwood, Sister Marceline. Marshall, uh, Brother Clark, and Sister Ellen Standard, Stannard, the Sister Joey Stevenson, uh, Brother Kevin Stevenson, Sister Vivian Wakefield, um, Sister Marilyn Wester, and Brother David, and Sister Rita Kamishi. Thank you. Thank you so much for your generosity and kindness towards this ministry. I shared with you that um, the funeral arrangement of our brother in Christ and, um, and dear friend, Brother Steve Porter, um, is going to be uh, this coming uh, Saturday, uh, the 20th, um, and it's going to be held at the South Clark Church of Christ, uh, or the Hamburg Pike Church of Christ, uh, there on 3108 uh, Hamburg Pike in Jeffersonville. Brother Steve uh, is loved by many in our, in our community, and um, we're going to have it there, and we hope uh, you will be able to be with us. The viewing of the body will be at the Legacy Funeral Home there at uh, 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 on Main Street uh, in Jeffersonville between 9th and um, between 9th and 10th Street uh, is where you will be able to view the body uh, there again. And the funeral will will be at 10 a.m. Saturday morning. Uh, there at the uh, 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 Hamburg Pike Church of Christ, there on 3108 um, uh, Hamburg Pike. Also, the, the funeral arrangements has been finalized for Brother William Cole. Brother William Cole's funeral will be Monday, and it will be at the Midwest Church of Christ, uh, at 12 noon, the viewing of the body can be start at 10 a.m. And uh, uh, the um, uh, 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 funeral, again, is at 12 noon. So let's remember uh, these families and let's do all we can to, uh, to support them. Praise be unto God. Now... Bow your heads. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God and Father in heaven, 
as we come before you this day. We're so mindful, we're so mindful of your, your great love, O oh God, the love that you shown and demonstrated through your Son, Jesus Christ. Now, as we, we come before you today, we come with humbleness. We come with brokenness. For we know that you are the God of repair. You know how to repair lives that have been broken and torn to pieces. There are many people, O oh God, that needs your tender care. And I bring a, I sick and shut in. And those going through tra the trauma of pain and agony. I ask, O oh God, I ask for your divine favor to come down and minister. Help us to know that in you all things are possible. Even the pain that we have, you have a purpose for it. And oh Lord, I thank you and I praise your name. Receive our sick and shut in and those going through special treatments. I bring them before you and I ask, oh God, that you be merciful. You told us to ask and we're asking. You told us to search and we'll find. So we're searching and we're knocking on your door because we know man may shut their door on us. But you, oh God, you're there with the open arms, with your door open for us. And oh, how we, oh, how we're thankful. We pray for the families of Brother Steve Porter and Brother William Cole, we pray for them. We pray for divine, for divine comfort that only you can provide. I thank you and I praise you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now let's open up our Bibles to the book of Psalms. The book of Psalms, the first division. The Bible, the Word of God says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the comfort counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But here's the light is in the law of the Lord and is in his law that he meditates day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in this season. His leaf also shall not wither and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff, which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Jesus come to show us how to live in this new kingdom of God. Matthew records him teaching his disciples in the mountain. In Matthew chapter 5, beginning at verse number uh, 3, the Bible, the word of God says, Blessed are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. And blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. They shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. And blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. 
Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice. Rejoice, he says. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. For great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they, the prophets which were before you. Now let's open up our Bibles to the book of Mark. The book of Mark, the 16th chapter, and the verse is 7. The Bible, the Word of God says, but go, tell his disciples and Peter, he is going ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there just as he told you. Thursday, April the 18th, 2019. Our daily devotion entitled The God of Second Chances. Does God give second chances to those who have failed him? He certainly did so for Peter. Peter had proudly announced that he was Jesus' most reliable, most dependable, most assured disciple. In Matthew chapter 26 and verse 33, Peter said, Peter declared, they all are, uh, they, though, uh, though they all are offended and stumble and fall away because of you and distrust uh, and desert you, I will never do so. He told him, he, he, he said that. Yet Peter, yet Peter not only fled, fled, uh, fled with the other disciples in the moment of crisis, but he blatantly denied he even knew Jesus. In Matthew chapter 26 and verse 67, 69 through 75. Peter, Peter failed so miserably that he went out into the night. Uh, and the Bible says in, 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 in Luke chapter 22 and verse six and verse 62, and he wept bitterly. How compassionate how compassionate the, re the risen Christ was to Peter. The angel gave the women at the tomb special instructions to let Peter know that he was risen. Jesus took Peter aside to allow him the opportunity to reaffirm his love and commitment to him in John chapter 21 and verse 15 and through 17. The risen Lord, the risen Lord also chose Peter as his primary spokesman on the day of Pentecost when 3,000 souls obeyed the, amen, the gospel the death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus and was added that day to the church of Christ of the Bible. God's desire 
is to take you from where you are and, and to bring you to where he wants you to be. When he found his defeated followers hiding together in an upper room, Jesus' first word was peace in John 20 and verse 19. Jesus' first words to you are after you fail may also be peace. Jesus will find you in despair and bring you peace. Then you, he will reorient you to himself so that you can believe him and follow him. Don't, don't give up. If you have failed your Lord, remember what happened to Peter. God has not yet finished developing your life. Just have faith. Just have faith and trust in the Lord. And so is the readings from the books of the Lord. The book of Psalms, the first division. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 3 through 12. And here in the book of Mark, the 16th chapter. And the verse is 7. Now let's go to our featured study. Found in the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter. The book of Revelation, the 13th chapter. The Bible, the Word of God says, beginning at verse number 4, And they worshipped, and they worshipped the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemy. And power was given unto him forty and two months. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them the, and power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that, uh, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And so is the reading from the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 13, verse 4 through 10.
here we find that, amen, the dragon and those that worship the dragon uh, would, would we receive power. The Antichrist, John wanted, J Jesus wanted John to let the people know he didn't call he didn't call the devil Satan. He called him the red, great red dragon. And he didn't call uh, Rome, the empire of Rome, a man uh, by name. He called them the beast. He didn't, uh, uh, a, a man, he did not name the Antichrist. He, uh, but he knew a man symbolically he represented the 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 high priest and the Sanhedrin of the Jewish law. My brothers and sisters, I come to tell you, the Antichrist received his power and because a, a man of the worldly and ungodly living. It says that they worshiped the the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. And they worshiped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? And who is able to make war with the beast? Rome was the most powerful nation the world had ever known at that time. He was... He was, Rome was greater than the Medes uh, and the Persians, uh, the Babylonians. Uh, the, he, Rome surpassed all of them. And they wanted to know uh, who they, and, and so when it says, who, 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 who can go up against him? Why do you ask the question? Uh, why then, why would the religious people be worshiping the devil? Let me, let, let me be clear. Let me, let me show you, let me take you to the book of, um, let me take you to the book of, um, uh, we used this scripture one day this week, and, but uh, uh, let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 11. Let me, let me go over there so you can, so you can understand the, the power of the wicked one. In the book of uh, Romans chapter uh, 11, verse 14 says, and no marvel. Well, he says, that, let's read verse 13. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. Now look at here. Verse 14 says, and no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. I bring this scripture before you because you need to understand they worship. They worshiped the, the, the dragon. But what, how did they worship? Now, they, they were not having a church of Satan. Satan came into the midst of God's people. They come into the midst of them. And, uh, and that's how, that's how they, uh, and, and they said, oh, we all are just the same we're all, all religions are the same, and, and we are all uh, here worshiping. You worship your God, and we'll worship ours, and all of we'll be together. Uh, because, and, and you know what? The devil, the devil have deceived the church. They began to, amen, uh, they began to become worldly. Things that ought to be upheld as, as honor and virtue no longer. Let me, let me help you. 
There was a time when we celebrated, when we celebrated marriage today, we done got to the point the world has convinced us. You, you know, they don't even call, they don't even call married peace people husbands and wives any longer. This is my, uh, this is my partner. What's going on? Why do we, why do we change? It's because we've, we've infiltrated ourselves into this broader society. Now look at, look at what he says here. In Revelation 9 and verse 20 and 21, he says, they repeated not the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils, and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk, neither repented they of their murderers nor of their sorceries nor of their fornication nor of their thievery. Now, he says, those that follow the the beast. You 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 think the beast he he's religious. He says he 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 believes in God. The Bible says in James chapter two, the devil believes and he trembles. My brothers and sisters, the Antichrist receives his power from the devil. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, listen to what Paul says. This know also, that in the last days perilous times shall come. Men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontent, fearless, despisers of those that are proud, amen, uh, uh, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure, more than lovers of God, having a, listen to this, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. And he says in verse 13, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Children of God. The Antichrist will secure power by personal ability and appeal. They come, they, they come with good words. They don't preach like me. They got all, they, they, they're, they come with flower. They come with, with a, with a graciousness. They, 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 they got PhD uh, behind their name and DR in front of their name. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not angry. I'm not envious. I, I know one thing. You can't get no more out of this book than I can. You open up this book just like I can. And you know what I'm so thankful of? The God of heaven. You know what I'm thankful of? That's right. He made this good for a simple guy like me. I think God had me in mind. He has me in mind when he gave us this book. But us simple kind of guys can receive God's word. Yes, the world, all the world would wonder and be amazed and admire the beast. I, you know, I, I, I want us to understand what you see happening here in Rome and, and in the first century, John. Remember now, John's writing 
to the first century church of Asia Minor, and he's letting them know this is, this is up on you right now. But in every generation, there are power struggles. You and I can look. The United States of America is a powerful nation. But do you all know how we got to be a powerful nation? Because we declared our forefathers, our forefathers, those who crafted the Constitution of the United States of America, those men, those men and women of that generation, they said, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You know, the Constitution, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., he told our generation that we, it was time for us to live up to, to live up to the creed of our Constitution that all men are created equal. And you know what? The God of heaven Help Dr. King with the Bible, with the Bible in the right hand and the Constitution in his left hand. He brought this country to itself and this country listened and heeded past the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Men were working and, and going up. There was sit-ins and there People were going into Mississippi. They were going into North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, Georgia, all over. And they saw what was happening. And this country rose up and said, hey Amen. we got to start living accordingly. And yet... I want to say, America, come a little closer. Let me talk with you for a moment. In every generation, there is a power who is greater than all the other powers. And that power, being responsible, Blessed is the nation whose Lord is God and whose God is Lord. All of us, there was a time, there was a time when America, 80% of America was in, in church praising God. Now that has been reversed. Less than 20% of America is in is believing in the Lord. And my brothers and sisters, I'm here to tell you, we've got to fight diligently that America, the United States of America, which God rose up. We got to stop this war against Christians. We have world we have powerful people in our, in our midst today that are in our midst today that do not want the name of Jesus lifted up anywhere. They don't want Jesus lifted up anywhere. And I come to tell you, God could be looking at the United States as the great beast of our generation. If we do not repent, if we do not repent, the Antichrist secure power by military and economic strength. That's why, my brothers and sisters, yes, I, 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 I know we are a very powerful nation. But I'm glad that we have 
uh, Vice President, Vice President uh, uh, in, of the United States, Michael Pence, who is a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. He lives by principle, and that's why I know that in the in the in the White House today, I know our president says some things and uh, does some things. But he's got a godly man, a man who trusts in God, <laughs> right at his side, telling him, this is, this is not the way to go. My brothers and sisters, I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for that. Don't you, don't you ever believe that, 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 that things are not being moved by the hand of God. God's, God moves things. God is raising up. We have been killing our babies, our unborn babies. Uh, uh, Dr. Fuller, we, we have, we're the only race of people in the United States that has more, that uh, according to the 2000 uh, and 2010 uh, um, census, both of those censuses showed that black America was the only race of people that had a higher death to, amen, to birth ratio in the United States. And it's because we've been getting our power. We've turned our back. We are aborting our children. We are aborting our children. And we've got to we've got to turn this thing around. Our God, our God, will be looking at the United States as oh boy, oh boy. Okay, let's 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 open up the prayer line. I I have a special request of prayer that I need to make for you, to you. One of my oldest brothers, one of my older brothers, uh, John Henry Stevenson, is going to have surgery on his back today. And I, I ask all of my prayer warriors, call on the Lord, call on the Lord for our dear brother. And uh, we know that God is able. Five seven one twelve forty. I see his one of his beautiful daughters, and my lovely niece Deidre uh, is on the uh, Facebook with us this morning. And we want to say uh, we're we're praying for your dad, uh, baby girl. Praise be unto God. Five seven one. 1240, 571-1240. Let us pray together and let us call upon our God that our God may strengthen your life and the life of those around you. Jesus said, come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me for I am meek and lowly in heart and you shall find rest unto your souls for your yoke is easy for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Pray that God will give us what we need if you need prayer. The prayer line is open at 571-1240. 571-1240. Let us pray together. Let us call upon our God that our God may strengthen your life and the life of those around you. Again, I want to share with you that the funeral services for Brother Steve Porter uh, is going to be Saturday uh, the 20th at uh, 10 a.m. And it will be at the Hamburg Pike Church of Christ 
3108. 3108 um, uh, Hamburg Pike. Try to try to come if you can, but pray if you will. Uh, the Bible says, pray for one another, and let the Lord lift you up and uh, bless your life. Jesus is the hope of our salvation. The funeral services for our brother William Cole will be Monday, uh, the 22nd at, uh, at 12 o'clock. And the, and the um, viewing of the body will be uh, at, um, the viewing of the body will be from 10 to 12. So God bless you and you come and keep these families in your prayers and ask God to, to be with them. Remind you also that this coming Sunday, this Easter Sunday, this Sunday, that the world calls Easter Sunday, we are going to be having a sunrise uh, breakfast and prayer service. Come out and fellowship with us at 830. And uh, um, um, we'll be having a combined uh, um, combined Bible uh, resurrection Bible study and uh, we'll have um, a combined worship at 1030 so you make sure you make sure we want to pray uh, for the Wester family and sister Marilyn and her family and sister Amanda uh, uh, Smith and her uh, uh, siblings their mother is not doing well, and, and uh, our prayers go out to, to the family and ask God to um, um, be with us. Thank you all for being with us today. Uh, would you bow with me? Father, thank you so much. I come before you, and I thank you for your word, for the, for the teaching, for those who are uh, dedicated and wanting to be, uh, receive the engrafted word that is able to make them whole. I pray once again for our sick and shut-in, those going through special treatments. I bring my brother, John Henry Stevenson, before you. We bring uh, the Cole family and the Porter family. We bring these before you. All of those who have financially supported this ministry, we Thank you for them, O oh God, and may they receive a blessing. And we ask these in all things in the name of Jesus. Amen. My time is up for today. I've been I've enjoyed being with you. I pray to God that you you have received God's word, and that's all that I can do. And until tomorrow at this same time, know this our God loves you, and so do I.